Hey guys, Larry Savis Because is here. Today I will show you how to make this uh, beautiful round pillow. Uh, a couple of people were asking me for a while to show it. So today is the day when we finally will do it. So uh, you will need one pound of super chunky merino wool. Only one pound will make you this beautiful pillow and some uh, feeling that you can buy at any craft store. So let's do it. So what you will need for this project, you will need one pound of super chunk merino wool. You will need uh, some thread uh, and you will need scissors. So we will start with casting on 10 stitches. So we will do it the same way as we usually do it. So make a loop, insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it through. This is your first stitch. Now we will make a chain of 10 stitches. Insert your hand, grab working yarn. This is your second stitch. Insert your hand, grab working yarn. This is the third one. Okay, you might see here that the uh, wool has a little bit of discoloration. It happens because it's a dyed wool. So just take it off, smooth out and that's how you get rid if you have a little piece of different color, okay? Keep going, we will need 10 stitches. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now when we have a chain of 10 stitches, we will start knitting, but we will be knitting in a circle. So connect these two parts together, the tail goes in the middle, and then just knit as you would be knitting in a regular way. Just grab the first stitch, use the first stitch of the last row. So this is our first stitch. So grab the working yarn and see this way you connected it. You connect it two ends and now we will be just doing it on a circle and in this stitch you are using the back of the stitch not the front you're leaving the front over here and just go around to make this beautiful pillow when you reach the area where you connect it to you just keep see this is the last this is where we started you just keep going around and this way you actually have uh, a circle you can see the tail goes in the last stitch here and then it will go inside So before we go any further, we will do two rows and before we go to the third row, we will actually close this area. It will be the back of the pillow. So here we are. This is our two rows. Now we are taking our thread and we are taking a piece of thread about this size. And now we will close this area, it will be back of the pillow. So you will start inserting the thread in every stitch and do it from the back to the front for every stitch. One, two, from the back to the front. All ten stitches the same way. over here and from the back to the front back front back front and here so all the stitches are on the thread now now pull the thread and tie it you can make it this way and now just hide these tails inside or cut them it's up to you so see this is the back of our pillow isn't beautiful 
so and keep going around we will need uh, depending on the size if you want a really small pillow you can just do like five rows if you want it a little bit bigger just use the whole pound and uh, keep about one yard left to finish the pillow so depending on how many rows we will uh, we will plan to make 10 rows okay so when you reach your row number five like we're doing now we're on a row you can easily cal calculate how many rows you here you have here it will be one two three four five you have uh, row number five so then what you're doing you're actually turning the pillow on the other side and then you keep doing the knitting just do it on the top like this and this way the pillow will become round it will not go spreading it will be going this direction it will be becoming narrower so we will be keep keep knitting this way and again uh, one pound will give you about eight ten rows depending on how big uh, stitches you're making when you're doing it this way try to make stitches a little bit closer to each other because this way pillow will be uh, a little bit more round here see it's uh, turning this way already when you have about one yard of the yarn left uh, what you will need to do you will need to close the pillow and make it actually looking like a pillow what you're doing you are taking the tail uh, let's actually make it a little bit more let's knit a little bit more and make the tail a little bit shorter because now it's a little bit too long to finish the uh, pillow there you go see it's turning and it's uh, becoming more round when you're trying to make stitches closer okay so now what we're doing we're taking this tail and we're inserting tail in every stitch and this time we're going from inside to outside stitch from inside to outside stitch inside outside and go this way through every stitch you have don't miss because then you will need to go back and fix it and Here we are. So this is our last stitch, or first one that where we started. Pull it a little bit through the stitches, like that. Then uh, there is a hole here, and you can fill the pillow with some pillow filling, or you can keep it this way too. It will be really soft and nice pillow this way. Uh, it's up to you. If you want it a little bit too, uh, a little bit harder, then put some filling as much feeling as you want then you just basically pull gently and you hide the tail or you can cut it or you can just hide it inside like that and here you are your beautiful pillow is ready isn't it gorgeous it's very simple it might be a really good uh, present for uh, Christmas for yourself or for anybody you would like to, uh, very unusual soft and beautiful and that's how it's done